this is um, the easier version with this opposite knee bent. I also have a video of the next level um, of progression with that with both legs straight. But for this one, one knee is bent, one leg is straight. You're focusing on getting a good 360 degree inhale. So think of ribs expanding to the side. That's the most important. And then your belly, back, and chest are all going to move a little bit as well um, on your inhale. Pelvic floor relaxes. On your exhale, you're bracing your abdomen, so engaging deep abs, lower abs. Um, think of drawing your hip bones together. Get those lower abdominals, rib cage comes down and in. Knit your rib cage together so everything here is tight. We don't want your ribs flared. We want everything here connected. Um, we want those abdominals connected. And then you're lifting up on your exhale, okay? So a fun test also is to try to just lift your leg without doing the breathing along with it, then try the breathing and it should feel a little bit easier to lift that leg because you're stabilizing here. So we need good proximal stability, so in our core and our trunk, for our leg to be able to move and lift easier. So stabilize here, pelvis shouldn't shift too much. So inhale through your nose, exhale, engage your abdomen, knit rib cage together, lift that leg. Inhale. So as I exhale, I'm lifting my leg. I, you can continue once you get a little bit more comfortable with the breathing strategy to continue to breathe while bracing your abs and just keep moving through the motion, okay? So inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So through that whole time, I was still keep keeping my abdomen braced and I was inhaling and exhaling while I was maintaining tension in my core. So that's a way to breathe while bracing your abdomen to really strengthen those abdominals. Um, and then um, also, what I said before, you wanna pay attention to what it feels like if you don't work on the exhale as you lift your leg. Okay, make sure that pelvis isn't rocking back and forth too much. One thing to look out for when you're trying to bring your rib cage down and in, some people will do that and they'll kind of grip with those upper abs. And when you do that, your lower belly tends to pooch out. We wanna avoid that. That's just something to look for. It, it kind of tells us that we're actually bearing down and putting a lot of pressure down on our pelvic floor, which we like to minimize, and we like to avoid that as much as we can. Nothing to be scared of, just um, something to watch out for. It kind of gives you a little picture of what's going on in your pelvic floor when doing a core exercise like this.